So today really was a big day for all the students, for all the mentors, and for really everyone, the families that were part of this App Jam Plus 2015 program. Today, we all came together, over 200 people, for the showcase finale event, where we had over 19 teams present their apps that they made in 10 weeks and compete for prizes. This program, we're basically um, teaching uh, middle schoolers how to make um, Android applications. So since they're middle schoolers, we cannot teach them any fancy programming languages like Java or also. So uh, we use this program called MIT App Inventor, which is uh, drag and drop. It was great. It was great. My app consists of three different um, games, sports that teaches three different subjects. So um, basketball teaches biology, baseball teaches chemistry, and tennis teaches math. Our game is based on science. Yeah, I learned a lot. I thought it was really fun. This is actually my third year um, being part of App Jam, so I really like it. I really like what it does for students. I like how it not only serves schools that are private and that sometimes pay for the service, but also students from traditionally underrepresented communities that really need the program to get ahead. It definitely forces you to kind of think of programming a little bit differently. Sometimes you would think that building with blocks is easier than with code, but it's actually uh, not. And you know, there's more skills that I've gained with each year that I've done it. The app is, the STEM topic is math, and basically it's kind of like a reverse plants versus zombies, where you do math and then you can summon, it's called robot food clash. Instead of plants versus zombies, it's robots versus food. Yeah, I had a lot of fun and like, it was a blast doing this for the first time. I, re I learned how programming worked and like making more friends than usual. And the fan favorite goes to Team Swag from Hover Day. Third place. Girls Inc. Swag Panda. Second place, Walton Galaxy Bosses. First prize for Harper Day, Rocious Bubble Leaders. Coding, but this coding that we did was much more complex. So I learned touch screen, how you tilt the screen. It was insane. I learned how to do Photoshop because I was didn't really know how to do that. And I also know how to code and do all that stuff. And I'm super excited. So this year's event was great. It was a lot of fun. We actually invited the audience to participate in the judging. So we had a fan favorite award this year. And you know, we're just really thankful and appreciative to be a part of this effort to be able to bring all these people together and provide these experiences for middle school students. Thank you.